Okay, yes, so I thought quite carefully about the title. Um, Hokusai was a printmaker and he printed in the early part of the 19th century and I was inspired by his prints. I'm always inspired by things I see and it recently I'd seen a film, a documentary from the British Museum on, on Hokusai and a friend had seen the exhibition and bought back some postcards from it. And another friend had come to my art class with a book on Hokusai. So suddenly Hokusai was part of my world. And I looked at his wave and I thought, sure, that would make a fantastic painting. A print is very different to a painting because a print is flat and his prints were small. My paintings are large and they're in oil and they're, they're very painterly in a way and very different from a print. So that's why I wanted to use the word painting in the title of the exhibition. I've concentrated on his birds and his flowers because that's what I paint. Um, others, other of his prints are about demons and about all sorts of other things which I wouldn't be inspired necessarily to use in my own work. So there was a kind of link between my work and and his work in a, in a way, although they are totally, totally different. I'm also open to all sorts of people interpreting all sorts of things in my work. I always enjoy giving walkabouts and people often tell me what they've seen in the work and I said, yeah, that's exactly what it is, but I'd never thought of that. So people can interpret it in their own ways and it can mean different things to different people. I've got very large images and very small images, sort of almost like um, I don't know, sort of like little jewellery gem kind of works and then other works where I have to climb a ladder to, to paint. But I think some of the big works maybe um, one can focus in on, on parts of them and they can be like a whole lot of little works which make up a big work. Um, yeah, so, so scale is important and I like playing around with scale. Texture is important and layering is important for me. I don't just... Um, it's not as if I'm, I'm colouring in. I start somewhere and I never know where it's going to end because in the process of making the work, things change. So my end product might not be what I thought it was going to be at the beginning because I allow things to happen. And so it's about, it's a whole sort of evolution of, of working. And it it's, takes time. I, that's why I like to work on more than one painting at a time because then I move on to something else and then come back to that. And I work with transparencies and layers and thick paint and thin paint. And I like the materiality of paint. I like manipulating the paint. Yeah, it's very interesting to think of how my work currently relates to work from my past because I think you don't just stop and start, especially if you're working all the time. I think you go in circles. You don't start at one point and then end up at another point. I often look at my work and think, Oh, I did that long ago, and I didn't realize it when I started painting. So, um, yeah, I think, I think that it's, it's interesting to think of my work as one big hole over the years. I just remember not learning about, in, in art history, about Hokusai in his own right, but we learned about him because when Japan was open to the West, the Impressionists were exposed to his work for the first time, and I think Manet's even got some um, pa a painting with some of um, Hokusai's works on the wall, I think. Or, yeah, so I think that, that although I, I, I knew about Hokusai because of Impressionism, I hadn't really studied it until I saw the documentary on, on um, Hokusai and a lot of focus was paid on the, on the Great Wave. And I think the Great Wave has been used by lots of artists in lots of different ways. So it's not as if I'm the first person to be inspired by this. So, and actually I like, I like um, playing around with subject matter that has been used before and, and doing it again in an original way, seeing if you can interpret it differently. <laughs>